Hello everyone, my name is Confidence and in this video we're going to take a look at the rich text editor widget and I'll show you some ways in which you can configure it to get the most use of the widget. So first to get started, I am going to head over to the widget section right here and I'm going to drag in a rich text editor widget into the canvas. And here you can see the rich text editor showing up. And this is a full-blown rich text editor that have things such as tables, we have line numbers, we have bullet points and everything you would need. So to configure the rich text editor, the first thing you can do is to go ahead to update the name of this widget. And this makes it really easy to access this widget, especially when you have other widgets with similar names on the table. So I can update this to rich text editor and we have that name uh, showing up on the widget. The next property we can go ahead to configure is the input type. And here is where we want to specify the format of the output from this widget. So we can either choose between Markdown here or HTML, and that will be the output type of the content from the rich text editor. We also have the default text property, and this is the text that shows up by default on the rich text editor when no input has been supplied. So for example, we can say write something here, and we see that showing up on the rich text editor. So this can be very useful to give guidance to those who will be using this widget to know what to supply into the widget. So that is the default text property. We can also set this to be visible or not by clicking on the visibility switch, and we can set this to be disabled, whereby it is not going to receive any user input. So I'm just going to turn those off. And for either of these two properties, the visible property or the disable property, you can go into the JavaScript mode and write some JavaScript that would set this widget to be on or off by returning a value of true or false. So we have that ability there. Then we can also go ahead to specify an action to be executed whenever an input is received from the rich text editor. So whenever there's a change in the text of the rich text editor, we can go ahead to execute any of these predefined actions shown here on the list, or we can go into the JavaScript mode and write any custom logic we want to be executed whenever an input is applied to the rich text editor. So this has been the rich text editor, and I hope you found this video helpful.